It's Thursday once again, so we will be taking a look at the LEGO City as we aim to turn it into a Star Wars world. That's right, if you haven't caught on before, this LEGO City is becoming more and more of a giant Star Wars mock. We've already built Tatooine Tower there in the middle that will be improved and updated to say the least once we've done all the other towers using what we've learned along the way, I guess, to improve some of the older Lego towers. But today, you saw last week the tease at the end of the video. We're starting on Naboo Neighborhood. Really, really catchy. I'm liking what I'm doing with the names Tatooine Tower, Naboo Neighborhood. That's definitely gonna stick around. But we busied up the city, added a giant queue for the Lego store, which we're gonna have to make the Lego store some Galaxy Edge inspired Lego store. I think that would be really, really cool. Starting off Naboo neighborhood, we are starting with the hangar that we see in The Phantom Menace. And it's seen a few times throughout Star Wars. I'm sure it shows up a few times, even just in The Clone Wars. There are a few play features, not play features, I guess display features, a bit of both, that I'd really like to add to this modular block. We're building it on a 16 by 16, but we are straying from that squared off design, especially for Naboo. The architecture over Naboo is really its own piece of art. So I wanna take that across and add a very detailed front to all four of these layers. And also as we go up, stray away from that 16 by 16. Perhaps the top floors will be a bit smaller, similar to the Friends Tower, just to add a bit more detail in the city. But first off, we've got to take the two blocks, these two blocks here, and basically break them down. I said I was only gonna do one tower at the time. Because these two are attached, I think I'm just gonna tackle both of them and rebuild the fishing tank as well. And then we'll go on to building the first Naboo modular. So here we are, last month I guess now we said goodbye to the Lego core tower which was meant to be Lego moving in Jargo and we didn't really even get start we did the first modular but if you would like to see the whole city as it was this is the first time by the way we had any sort of backdrop for the city fully complete I wasn't including these little side panels here this was the first complete city it's taken us a year we finally got somewhere and now we're destroying it to build more Star Wars modulars because I really enjoyed building Tatooine Tower. If you would like to have seen the city as it was and I go through all the different modular bits and I actually add all the minifigures back because up until last week, there were no minifig, well, there were very, very, very few minifigures compared to what there are now. You can check out last week's video that is a playlist for the whole journey of the city. And I do appreciate everyone that goes back and watches all those older videos. But on the desk we have, this was the superhero lunch tower. That's the bottom modular from the Lego core tower. And then we had probably one of my favorite to build the animal fun tower. We got the aquarium at the bottom. Then we have the giant fish tank modular, which still to this day, I haven't seen anyone just randomly add a fish tank as a building to their city. Where are all the giant fish going to live? And then we had this, I don't, I don't really know what this was. I remember having the Christmas tree that we then unchristmas fired. We got the chicken coop and the greenhouse, which is a really fun design. Again, definitely recommend going to last week's video and checking that out. If you haven't seen any of these as we built them, but today we're tearing the whole thing down. Really the only part of these modulars that I wanna keep are the brand new connection points because you can see as I'm taking this down, it's so much easier to disconnect these without that stud connection than it was before when these were all joined by studs. In fact, I don't even think this one was connected on at all. But as you can see, one last time in the aquarium, all the animals have fallen over anyway, so I'm gonna need a place to put them. But that tunnel was honestly genius. It's one of the best techniques I've used throughout the city. So I got all the way to step seven of rebuilding this fish tank. And it turns out I only had 26 of these blue brackets. So I've got to find the other four in, they're not in my storage bin, so I've probably used them for a little mock. And I don't think they're in anything I've still got built because most of what I got built have rubricable instructions, which is so easy. You can just hunt through them, make sure the parts aren't listed. But it means it's likely in one of the models I haven't yet fully broken down. So I'm gonna go hunt through all them pieces. And as you can see, 
Most of this is gonna be quite straightforward because we've still got all the fish in more or less one piece. So it's not gonna to be too difficult, but it's little bits like this that just make rebuilding other models so difficult when you're using so many different parts for your different mock creations. What I have decided to do because I've searched high and low and can't find these brackets is just leave one out at all four sides and surely it can't be that important to the build. I was really expecting something to go wrong with these brackets, but it turns out it was completely fine because there are two by fours that stretch over that gap. So I did get lucky there, but we're also missing these lighter blue. These blue brackets on the side here are meant to be the same color as this plate that goes up the side. And I was three sure, I have no idea. It's a very odd color to use elsewhere, especially in Star Wars or something, because it would just be this sort of blue but it's built it looks good and now we can start work on the feed hanger by this point i've actually already recorded the video and you can see i've begun breaking down the other models and i now have to sort this into my parts but i just realized where the other brackets were i'm still yet to find the two by two brackets but you see on the back of these dragon wings that improvement i made to beef up the wings because originally the wings of this dragon well they were a bit lacking you can see for a main build especially on the creator three in one line of sets it definitely needed something else well these extra brackets that i've used are the exact same color i'm going to switch these out probably for a black bracket because that matched the underlying color of the wing but i'm going to add these to the fish tank and now you all want to see the start of the Naboo Tower. It's probably why you clicked on this video. So without further ado, let's start building Naboo Neighborhood. For the base, I have completely redesigned the Mills plate. Not really completely, there's still bricks holding up plates, but I've come up with this pattern, which not only holds these six plates that I'm gonna have at the bottom, also make sure there's at least two studs for every corner of the plate, which doesn't look as good as the four bricks by four equally spaced out, but you're not really seeing it. I quite like the gaps at the front. Not that I am gonna do anything with them, but perhaps we can have some connectors at some point if the city ever gets big enough that we'll need to secure these together a bit more. But I've used, I think it's four six by eights and two four by eights, which is quite nice actually, because it's a lot easier than me trying to get my hands on a 16 by 16 for all the different colors of the floor so i'll probably do a similar thing for all the other modular towers i also have a few different reference images just to help me as i'm building it but now we gotta get some bricks onto the plate and start work on the actual hanger and this time there's gonna be some progress so i started building up the walls and i've got a really good idea for the front of the hanger here but i've decided to tear it all down and rework the base because you can see on this reference image, there is a massive ramp entering the hangar. And I wanted to replicate that and it also helps with my design later on. You'll see that as this video goes on and it's definitely going on quite a bit. So thank you to everyone who's still staying tuned. But you can see that I have increased the height of the bricks underneath. This definitely adds a bit more variation in the actual ground floor of the city. So I'm really liking that. And then I can put the plates I've shortened the front plates by two studs. So now we have two six by eights, two six by sixes, a four by eight and a four by six. And this nice ramp at the front, which will be used later on in the video. And then we've got the rest of the city at this sort of brick height, which will go nicely with the slope and also just add a bit of variation. So now I'm gonna re-put on the wall and hopefully I can show you the entrance once I have finished. It's a few hours later now, and I've played around with this enough. I think I'm happy with at least the exterior of this model. You can see I've decorated it with bricks to a certain height, and even on the interior, we've got that column of those stripy modified bricks. I can never remember the actual name for them, including two giant, almost blast doors at the back, which I have made a diorama of, actually, and it'd be cool to get a sliding mechanism in there, but. I wanna make use of the interior space a lot more for this model. I am gonna add some bars onto the interior and the interior itself does need quite a bit of work, but you can see 
we have this two by two round jumper tile. It's not quite a jumper tile. I think it's just known as a modified tile with one stud showing. But the reason that is down there is I have rebuilt a very, very old set. If you can remember the Lego Star Wars Planet series, you might recognize this and have one in your collection, but I doubt it's still built. It's the N1 Microfighter from the Naboo Planet series. And I do still have a few of the planets lying around. I'll try and get a clip of them for the video. But I've rebuilt the Naboo N1 because, well, actually this is somewhat of a coincidence. It fits inside the model, the hanger at the front, it's just wide enough for the Naboo N1. Now, in terms of the Lego City, this is going to be some remote controlled N1 craft. I had a very similar drone that my granddad got me actually of the X-Wing from A New Hope, Luke's Red 5. And it wasn't as big as this is to a minifigure. I mean, this is just over two and a half times as wide. So imagine three of you sat next to each other. That's how big this is. But it was cool nonetheless. So I had to include a planet series model in here and this allows me to see what space we've got on the inside so i definitely want some crates at the back and a few other just like a workstation perhaps for the minifigures to be working on taking a look at the front you can see there's a bit of greenery try to switch it up both sides though they use very similar pieces so you can definitely see the patterns there and i've also implemented these two columns with the slopes just to add a bit more of that detail at the front We've still quite kept the squariness of it. This does go in a brick on the left and right side, but that just means we're gonna have to switch it up for the second floor even more. And there's only four Thursdays this month, I do believe. So what I am gonna be doing on the final week, which is where we add our finishing touches, is actually working on the roof over a third floor. All the other modulars are four stories in my city. So instead of adding a fourth floor to this, we're gonna use the Planet Series, not the Naboo one, but one of the other Planet Series domes to incorporate that nice style of roof you'll see on Naboo. So there's only actually two more floors of this and the roof, be sure to stay tuned for that. But right now, we gotta improve the interior. Well, that took a little longer than perhaps I would have liked. And I haven't detailed it too much. You can see there's quite a bit of floor space because I don't really know what the interior of this is going to look like. I definitely want a minifigure to be controlling this giant N1, perhaps have it flying around the city at some point. I think that's just gonna look really, really cool. But we've added a little workstation there, which definitely reminds me of the ones in the Jedi game franchise. We've got a few storage tubs and I've mixed up the bars. Initially, there was a four length. I couldn't fit a six length bar, so I tried it with a four length and the four and three length just looked a bit out of place. They were just bars coming out of the wall. So I've gone with this pistol looking piece, which I think just adds a bit more detail to the build. Looks really cool. And now it's time to place this in the new Star Wars fired Taylor Town. You can just about see it down there next to Tatooine Tower. And because they're both tan buildings, I might end up flipping that to the left side by next week. We are going to be working on Tatooine Tower when the other modulars are complete. I think that N1 looks really cool in the hangar there. And I might need to clear up a bit of space on the front here. This is the queue, by the way, to the Lego store. In case you didn't see last week, we've got this giant crowd which just funneled into this queue system, which leads all the way up there and zigzags back and forth into the Lego store. So perhaps we can pack a few more of these people into the Lego store or we could just keep zigzagging out into the road and have them all queuing up here and causing a lot of mayhem or even going off into that tunnel. That might be quite a good idea, but that also then cuts off that side of the sea. So we will be reworking that somehow. Again, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, but I'm really enjoying how this city is coming along and also just the start of the Naboo Tower. I think that looks really, really cool and is gonna bring a different shape to the city. So I do have the next two floors planned. Let me know what you'd like to see in the city in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. May the bricks be with you always.